After the next 25 minutes, you will yourself feel that God is around you, and He is watching you, so don't ignore these 25 minutes, and don't leave them incomplete. Your life is about to change after listening this message from the God. God is saying to you today, your heavenly defenders are approaching from beyond the veil. Seize this chance to communicate with your heavenly leadership and accept their kind assistance. Recognize that the spirits are there to direct and support you on your life's journey, so be open and attentive. Accept the clues and signals they provide during this period, as they contain important information for your own development and illumination. If this message resonates with you, and you sense a heavenly presence, appreciate this video by giving it a like. It's essential to keep in mind that life is valuable, regardless of the issues or obstacles you may be dealing with right now. Recognize that you have a sensitive, loving, and compassionate spirit. Do not let the promise and splendor of life be overshadowed by the cruel deeds of others. Continue forth because life holds wonders beyond your current experience. Accept this statement if you believe in God and find this message of hope inspiring. Type Amen to show your belief in the God, I am bigger than my past, braver than my present, and deserving of an amazing future. You have undergone a metamorphosis, you may not know precisely when it occurred, but you have undoubtedly passed a bound boundary, the feelings, memories, and ideas that used to control you suddenly seem unimportant, your mental and emotional state has changed significantly, and you now find yourself in a new setting with a different perspective, your tireless pursuit of inner work is now paying off. The traces of your former self are subtly disappearing into the background. Accept this new surge of energy that is advancing you on your path through life. The indications and indicators you come across are pointing you in the correct way, similar to how you've acted on your divine intuition. Declare your claim in the name of Jesus and say Amen, everything happens according to divine plan, and your job is to follow the beat of the cosmos and have faith in its intelligence. Our egos often want control and try to impose our will on events, causing ongoing tension and worry. Your higher self, on the other hand, is aware that you are exactly where you should be. Let go of the need for control, give in to the flow of the cosmos, and put your faith in God by entering Amen on your keyboard. Don't allow other people's opinions of you to get in the way of your happiness. It's difficult for many individuals to comprehend themselves, much less others. Let go of the need to win everyone over or gain acceptance. Have faith that those who really understand and see you will do so without passing judgment. This isn't just another typical day, it's a brand new beginning filled with chances for innovations and fresh starts. Create room for miracles to happen, and recognize that every day is special. Each choice you make has the ability to positively influence your life. Recognize this and have a fresh outlook on today. If you feel that this is true for you, say, yes. Remind yourself not to overburden yourself with lingering concerns about the far-off future. Remain rooted in the here and now, as it holds all of your actual strength, serenity, and clarity. Although you might hope for and imagine a brighter future, it's equally crucial to keep your attention on the present. The ability to live in the now is often indicated by fear of what could occur tomorrow. Have faith in your ability to handle each situation as it arises, 
You won't get the serenity and clarity you desire by worrying about circumstances that are far off in the distance on your route. It may even take you off track from your desired route. You must shift your attention to being in alignment with your highest self and leave the rest to the universe. This letter has reached you at this very time to let you know that, in spite of the situation, in the end, everything will be for the best. Even though it may not seem like it right now, you can be certain that behind the scenes, plans are being made to help you when you need it. Your heartfelt prayers and aspirations are already in action, as they are part of the universe's natural flow. It's time to let go of whatever residual concerns and uncertainties you may have. Inhale deeply, repose in the knowing that you are already receiving what you are seeking. Let go, unwind, and trust the cosmos to arrange the ideal circumstances to work in your favor. Keep your attention on the here and now, your greatest viewpoint, serenity, and power are found there, though daydreaming and envisioning a better future are important. Worrying too much about the future often indicates a lack of connection to the here and now. Instead, make the present moment your focal point. God wants you to understand that He is the one in charge of everything divine in your life. He has the discernment to put you just where you should be at the right moment, with the right people, in the perfect situation. Whether you're looking for a career or a life companion. Have faith that God will open doors and make the perfect connections for you. Proclaim your faith in this divine plan by typing, I am evolving. Recognize that God has a special stimulus package prepared especially for you. God gives you priority, and you give your relationship with Him top priority. It may cost you money to do the things God has called you to, they need commitment and sacrifice. But it's through these pursuits that you'll fully realize your potential and purpose. Type Amen if you're prepared to handle the weight of your mission, God will carry the weight of your crown as you carry your cross. Put your confidence in Him for your future, for He has great plans for you that go beyond your expectations, you are about to have a realization that will change your whole life. God is trying to get your attention today, telling you to be mindful of your surroundings. The adversary could be using acquaintances of yours to incite small-scale grievances and insults against you. These acts are intended to take your attention away from the things that are really important in God's kingdom. Put aside your petty concerns and diversion and offer prayers for these people. Continue unwaveringly on your journey in the kingdom. Say to yourself, I am gentle with myself. This affirmation shows that you are devoted to God's plan for your peace, success, and fulfillment, as well as to yourself. Declare with assurance that when you put your faith in God, He will quicken His purpose for your life. You won't believe how rapidly your dreams will come true. You won't have to wait years to get over debt, find love, or overcome challenges. God is moving quickly in His orchestration, launching you into triumph and rewards. Put your faith in Him to handle every aspect of your life and enjoy the restful sleep and lovely dreams He has promised, as God has shown you patience and love. Ask for the same qualities in others. When someone is deviating from the truth, seek wisdom to voice it and pray for direction from above to help you select your words carefully. Express your gratitude to God for His forgiveness and love and ask Him to help you emulate these attributes in everything that you do. 
recognize that nobody can stop you from achieving your goals, thanks to God. God has the ability to change events so that they will take you to your intended destination, regardless of the number, might, or power of people who may resist you. Embrace your faith even in the face of seemingly unattainable change, for God is actively at work in the background, and change may occur quickly. Acknowledge this heavenly process as your own and declare yourself aware of it. Even though it may not seem like it, today is the day to have faith and confidence that God is working for the good in your life. Any circumstance may be changed by His favor. Hold on to your faith because God is always at work, prepared to turn the tide of events to your advantage. Acknowledge this heavenly presence as genuine and present in your life now. If you're struggling right now with the thought that you made the worst mistake of your life, if you think you're too old, too lost, or too far gone to turn around, keep in mind that God hasn't been surprised by anything you've done or messed up. He already knows how to bounce back from each setback. Mercy for every setback and grace for every frailty. Accept His boundless grace and confidently go toward the future He has planned for you. O oh Lord, you know every thought that goes through our minds, you recognize that we are often terrified by change, but you haven't left us to handle change on our own, instead, you have given us the priceless Holy Spirit, when we experience change and uncertainty in life. It may make us fearful. May the call of the Holy Spirit fill our hearts and thoughts. Let us glorify you by putting faith in place of fear. Indeed, build yourself up on your most holy faith, beloved, and pray in the Spirit of the Lord. Remain fully submerged in God's love, rest in the tender embrace of God's peace, my precious child, though sometimes we choose to ignore them because they don't fit with our wishes, God is always sending us signals. But God is the one who knows exactly what to do next. That's all that we need once our feet are on the route He has planned. Go not by sight but by faith. We often say we trust God, yet our thoughts are always racing. We are commanded to put our thoughts and emotions in the hands of the Lord. Decide to put your confidence in God and stop worrying. This makes it possible for you to experience God's indescribable serenity through all the hardships. Find unfathomable delight. Type, I am ready to shine. If you are going through a difficult time right now, remember that no matter how bad things are going to get, they don't have to take over your whole life even in the middle of pain. Happiness is still possible. Joy may occasionally take the form of a serene enjoyment rather than an overwhelming sense of gladness. Take comfort in God's promise to be with you no matter what, particularly during trying times. Have faith that God knows what you're going through, and that joy will return if you put your faith in Him. Activate the flow of limitless prosperity, happiness, and joy by affirming, I am taking my power back. If you find these messages motivating, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. God's kindness never changes, since it is a part of who He is. But if you've had severe injuries from people or from childhood, you could be wondering why. If God is wonderful, he didn't save you from those agonizing situations. I have wondered about this, even though I may not always have the answers. I've learned to put my confidence in God throughout difficult times. 
God's kindness never wavers, even in the worst of circumstances, and He is able to restore any circumstance. God is just looking for opportunities to bring good into your life, and He is waiting for you to accept them. Keep your attention on the Lord and not on the hurt of the past. During your personal time with Him, ask for His help and look forward to His kindness making your life happier and more peaceful. Input, Amen, in case you concur, it seems like we are surrounded by issues in this world, however, we are not of the world. Rather, we are in it. As Christians, we are not obligated to follow the global system or respond in a global manner when faced with hardships. The world reacts with irritation and anguish, nevertheless, Jesus left us with his peace, which is different from the world's. This passage emphasizes that we have the option to choose a different viewpoint. Our approach and mindset might be quite different when we face obstacles head-on without fear or negativity. We make room for God to act miraculously in our lives. Selecting the appropriate viewpoint may completely alter a circumstance. When we approach something fearfully, we make life miserable for ourselves. Refusing to fear or have a pessimistic attitude makes it possible for us to experience God's indescribable serenity through all the hardships, before God to act unexpectedly, make an informed viewpoint choice. Enter, yes, to accept this viewpoint. Sometimes, it seems like the easiest course of action is to give up and go, but it's usually at those exact situations that you have to go deeper inside. The answer is not to flee, rather, make use of your inner power. When difficulties happen, remember not to give up, but instead find inner strength and serenity. Avoiding difficulties can only impede your progress and rewards. Every obstacle presents a chance to motivate you to overcome it. Anxiety could make you want to run away, but resist the urge and use your inner strength and power. Accept your authority, verify it. Sometimes when things don't work out the way you had hoped, it's not a sign that you're not good enough. Type, I embrace my power. These encounters have a purpose and provide insightful knowledge. It's possible that you faced obstacles because you and your goals took some time to mature. Your future is not predetermined by your history. You now have a more elevated viewpoint as a result of your growth and new insights. Even if your prior efforts didn't go as planned, it's still acceptable to try again. This message serves as a reminder that things will get better, even if it doesn't seem to be right now. Things are setting up behind the scenes to help you. Your prayers and desires are already being granted. Let it materialize as you unwind. Type, I believe, to demonstrate that you're prepared for this constructive shift. Breathe deeply and unwind, sending all of your worries and uncertainties to your higher self. Remind yourself that everything will be okay. You will soon experience positive improvements. This too shall pass. You're about to have the turning point you've been waiting for in your life. Remind yourself of your progress even when you want to give up. You have a chance to change and evolve right now. You have to shift your perspective of yourself and your situation to bring about the things you want. Take a step back, center yourself, and see the world from your higher self's perspective. You have inner power that you can't even imagine. 
Declare that when you put your confidence in God, He will expedite His plan for your life. You'll see the realization of your aspiration sooner than you anticipated. It won't take years to find the ideal person, conquer challenges, or pay off debt. God is moving quickly, and His favor will provide years of advancement. Type Amen, if you trust in God, if you think there is a God, please subscribe to our channel. Change is coming for individuals who have experienced disorientation, confusion, being stuck, or being hampered by barriers. A fresh start has come, and the cosmos is gently directing you down this route. These refreshing starts may sometimes come from ends that seem unpleasant at first. Have faith that this is the only path forward. This is your opportunity to advance, reinvent yourself, and let go of the concerns that have prevented you from moving forward. Now is the time to proceed. You will enjoy the beautiful slumber the Lord has promised when you give Him your worries and confidence in every aspect of your life. Before going to bed, make a prayer and give God your troubles. You will awaken alert, refreshed, and full of God's blessings in all areas of your life. As you allow Him to bless and renew you as you sleep, Type Amen to get this favor, I feel like you've been doubting yourself lately, doubting your ability and deservingness to go for the goals I've instilled in your soul. This message serves as a gentle reminder that you are stronger than you realize and that you can conquer any obstacle by drawing strength from Christ. Never even contemplate giving up, and don't let fear prevent you from achieving your goals. Never forget that I am supporting you and that I think you can succeed. You are capable of realizing your dreams and serving your mission. It's not necessary for you to put up with abuse or seem normal when you're not. You have the right to set limits for polite relationships and to resist maltreatment since you are a human being. Not someone's ornament. Remember that you have the freedom to do as you like, even if others may not always comprehend this and may respond adversely. To demonstrate your dedication to self-care and establishing limits, type Amen taking care of oneself and waiting till the right time, talk about this message with five individuals who believe in God. Please leave a, Jesus is Lord, comment, subscribe, and enable the bell notification. In a world that seems to be becoming harder every day, I wish that you will cling to life's richness and not allow it to fade. God is sending you a message today that is full of steadfast confidence and limitless hope. He promises to be your beacon of light, removing any barriers that could stand in your way and repairing any rough spots on your route through life. Furthermore, He guarantees to unveil wealth and secret gems that could be kept buried in the most surprising areas. This revelation bears witness to the fact that you are known very well by the Lord God of Israel. You are not just a nameless person. By liking this message, you may demonstrate your faith in Jesus. Since there is a deeper significance behind these remarks meant only for you. This is what your celestial guardians and spiritual mentors are really stressing. They want you to understand the importance of what they're saying. On this trip, you are never alone. Yourself, your spiritual friends are dependable pals who, even though you may not be aware of them, provide you with heavenly direction, unshakable encouragement, and endless creativity. They have been silently supporting and gently guiding you through all life's ups and downs. 
You are never alone on this road, so rest assured with their support. You will get the power and resilience to tackle the obstacles in life. Your constant trust in God is the source of your assurance in this unchangeable reality. Have faith that God is directing your course. Have faith in the procedure, have faith in the bigger divine energy surrounding your life and the goodness that is here to view life as a wonderful way of bestowing onto us unforeseen gifts, restorative miracles, abrupt improvements, and conditions. Keep your unshakable belief and keep going on even when you run across hurdles along the path. Recall Jesus' consoling words while facing difficult circumstances. Avoid allowing your emotions to be disturbed. You have faith in God, have faith in me too. These lines serve as a reminder that you don't have to let life's storms get to you. You may find comfort and assurance in prayer, constantly remembering that Jesus is by your side. Declare your confidence in God in the lack of sensory evidence and with steadfast faith. Recognize that every storm you experience has a greater power's predetermined route. When you continue to maintain the conviction that no weapon created against you can succeed, you are capable of traveling through life with calm strength. The heavenly word for you today is change. And if you use faith as your compass, you may go forward with hope and confidence. God exists beyond time, and when we have a deep relationship with Him, we too transcend time. Since the Creator and Master of time is on our side, time becomes our friend. No matter what obstacles we encounter along the way, with God, we always come out stronger, more confident in His kindness, and certain that He will never let us down. No matter how things seem, your life is renewed by this walk with God, bringing the heavenly seeds that have been sought inside you since creation to full maturity in synchronizing your pulse with His perfect rhythm. Type, I'm taking my power back, to show that you're prepared to regain control. You are moving forward and reaching new heights on your trip. When others hurl stones at you, God doesn't want you to back down. He is sending you to cause trouble because you tell the pure truth. Some people will disagree with you. Recall your value and importance. You are a work of art, completely functional, significant, and required. Don't let anybody but He push you away because God has selected you for a special mission. Be steadfast in your devotion to God and honor Him. While some people wish they could experience our world, there are moments when we feel unsatisfied with it. While a pilot on one of those aircraft sees a farmhouse below and thinks of going home, a youngster on a farm looks at planes flying above and dreams of flying. The moral of the story is to live life to the fullest, since material money, celebrity, power, and security are not always the keys to happiness, security, and real connections. True satisfaction comes from living a simple, humble, and loving life. Your frequency dictates how the cosmos reacts to you. As you evolve, the energy you release is recognized by the cosmos, even if it is unaware of your own needs or wants. If you feel shame, guilt, or fear in your vibrations, you'll draw incomparable energy. Conversely, you will attract favorable things into your life if you radiate love, pleasure, and plenty. You have to be attuned to the energy you want to create. It's like turning on a radio station. Therefore, 
alter your perspective. To improve your life, you need to see things from a different angle. In this new chapter of your life, you can't continue to see the world the way you have been seeing it up to this point. It needs a fresh, empowering, and optimistic perspective on the world and its contents. You need to take on a more expansive and lofty viewpoint in order to welcome new experiences. It all comes down to adopting a fresh, more optimistic perspective on things. Take care of yourself and type, yes, if you've subscribed our channel. Please type, Jesus is Lord, after sharing this message with five others who believe in God. Type, I claim it, if you receive this declaration. Type, yes, if you're ready and share this video with five people who trust God. Comment, Jesus is Lord, to support our channel. Please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the bell notifications. Type, 777, if you believe this. Like this video and subscribe to the channel if you believe in God. Type, I really love you God. And if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks, from $10 to a $20, God bless you my child, type Amen.